Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, His Excellency, the Governor of Siaya, uh, James Agri Orengo, His Excellency, the CS for Industry, my friend Moses uh, Kuria, and all the dignitaries present. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to welcome Moses Kuria to Siaya. Moses Kuria, my friend, you are welcome to Siaya, and you will realize that Siaya people are very, very friendly people. They will give you all the necessary uh, facilities welcome, including a, a lady to hold, to go back with. Yes, but you also realize that our people are also very proud. They are proud people because they exist. They exist whether others are there or not. They are there. Wadak Kata Katiyonge. And therefore, we also want to tell you that our people are very hardworking. They are very hardworking and they produce their own food. This is not a food relief area. We are never included in the list of those who get food relief. So when you see us putting sufrias on the, te on the head, it is not because we don't have food, but because we are sympathizing with all the other Kenyans who are suffering because they have no food. And, and uh, Honorable Korea, the docket you are given of industry is a very important industry. It's a very important docket. And it is a devolved function. So, James, you have done a great thing to create an industrial park. When an industrial park is created, it is not meant to spoon feed you. It is meant to give you a facilitation to invest as people of CIA. And I know you are very hardworking. And so that, so our investors, those who have some money, please bring them home. Bring that money home, come and invest in this industrial park so that we can create jobs for our people. We want our people not to go to Nairobi, to go to Kisumu to seek for jobs. We want them to work here. And there's an area which has been ignored, and I hope it will be included in this. That is the ICT, the outsourcing. Outsourcing business creates a lot of jobs in other countries, including a, a few, a, just a few jobs in Nairobi. But this one in CIA here can be the first rural outsourcing facility for the whole, in the whole country. And I will be very happy if we can create it. it I, I hope Jim it is, a part, is part of it. And uh, I also want to, I don't want to say much because this is a, a function for which is not for politics. We didn't come for politicking. But please, please, uh, Honorable Korea, I'm sending you to the president. Please tell him not to push these our people. They should know that as legislators, we have a role of oversight. And when I declare that I'm supporting the government of the day, what does it mean? Does it mean that I have abandoned my role as an oversight member? There are three, the separation of functions. There's the executive, there's the, the, the legislature, and the judiciary. And they are independent. So as a legislator, I, could not, I should not at any time declare that I am part of the executive to bring development. It is the responsibility of the executive to bring development. It is my role to make sure they do it. And it is my role not just to encourage them, but also to make sure that I oversight them so that they don't sleep. I wake them up when they are sleeping. But when I say I'm part of them so that I bring development, does it mean I'm going there to beg? I'm not a beggar. I'm representing my people. So, 
James, with uh, those very few remarks, I would once again like to welcome Korea. Moses, he likes development. He's the one with whom we brought Equity Bank to Sierra. We traveled together. And uh, the Equity Bank is doing a good job for our people here in Sierra. So you people take that advantage. But I can tell you it is Moses Korea uh, with whom we came to launch the Equity Bank here in Bondo and in Sierra. So with those uh, very many or few remarks, I want to once again thank you, Jim, for bringing this project. It is going to be a great fair fit on, for our people. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Senator. Daktari uh, is the only senior orphan we have in the region and is our youth leader. Uh, guest of honor, with your kind permission, uh, we are running fast on time, but I request your indulgence to just allow me two minutes uh, to give this little young girl uh, who's prepared long and hard to share a little poem with us kindly, uh, after which we'll then move quickly uh, to have yourself speak. She's called Solange. Hello everyone, my name is Solange Williams, Chief Guest, Moses Kuria, His Excellency Mr. Governor James Orengo, and all protocols of TAB. Praise God. Praise God once again. I have a poem entitled, From Sierra to the World. The gateways to the well are now ready. Okay, okay. The gateways to the world with connections and greatest opportunities ever. Here we come from Syria to the world. When the world becomes like a village and the Agri business expands. Sierra is spreading its wings wide, wider and flying higher than a falcon. The doors, the doors trade are now wide open. It's a trade from Sierra to the world. The industrial park the unique economical hub with cold rooms and warehouses. Our fish will go international, fresh from the source. It's a trade from Sierra to the world. His, His Excellency Mr. Governor, Honorable James Sorengo, Thanks to national government for helping us realize these dreams and taking our domestic trade overseas. It's a trade from Sierra to the world. Sierra County, a beacon of excellence. When greatness takes its toll and achievement stands so tall, count one, two, and roll the curtains on. Don't tense, yes, don't tense anymore. You are here in the right place, Sierra County, a beacon of excellence. With full range of treasures and uncountable places of pleasure, Sierra County stands tall, but do I say we lead and others will finally follow. In administration, we shine. Academics, we are the giants. When this man entered the space, Sierra County changed from grass to grace. At last, we can now celebrate a golden touch in our county, Heko Kiongozi, Hongera governor. We can now be gained by our strength and might, power and prowess. His Excellency, Mr. Governor, you raise our shoulders so high, don't stop until it's done. Touch this country with a golden touch and change its prosperity. Thank you. That is Sierra to the world.
Allow me to urge you to appreciate that young girl in a special way. Will we clap for her? Thank you. Our guest of honor, CIA, our guest of honor, CIA comprises six sub -count, sub counties. And it is important that when you'll be leaving this place, you get rest assured there was representation from all the sub counties. Kwa hivyo, nitataja majina ya sub-counties, alafu mtasmama, and then the guests will recognize you. I want to start with the delegation from Bondo. Wherever you are, would you be upstanding? Thank you very much. Wakilishi kutoka rarieda, tafadhali msmame. Asante ni sana, wakilishi kutoka game, tafadhali msumame. Asante ni sana, na wakilishi kutoka lego usonga. Wale wenzetu kutoka ugunja. Na wale kutoka ugenya je. Asante sana. Hiyo ni ishara kwamba sia ya county iko hapa nzima. Na kwa hayo machache tafadhali nikubalie ni mwalike bwana Jim Joka county commissioner aendelee na ratiba. Now uh, our chief guest uh, honorable Moses Kuria uh, CS Ministry of Investment and Trade and Industry, Governor James Orengo, Sierra County. On the interest of time, I will only do two things. Number one, I want to recognize the presence of national government officers present. Musimame Tafadali. Yes. Tuapigia Makofi Tafadali. Kaeni Chini. Uh, I also know in the room, in the house, we also have the leadership of the National Chamber of Commerce. You stand. To a big coffee. Finally, this is just your pack. Siaya County, we have two major problems. Poverty and unemployment. I want to urge the youth in a special way to go back to farming in a serious manner, instead of getting consumed by illicit, uh, illicit brews and drugs. Take advantage of this facility and you will have food, in your, food for your families and money in your pockets. And you will afford poverty. And now, it is my singular responsibility to welcome Honorable James Orengo, the Governor of Sierra County, to come and address us. <laughs> governor, welcome. Chief Guest, Honorable Moses Kuria, the, uh, the Cabinet Secretary for Investment, Trade and Industry. My brother, 
Senator for Siaya, Dr. Oburu Oginga, the Speaker of the County Assembly, Honorable Jojo Kode, with the entire team of uh, members of the County Assembly, the County Commissioner, uh, Mr. Njoka, our Cabinet, or rather members of the County Executive Committee, all dignitaries, including representation from the National Chamber of Commerce, Gejo Pendu Tomobiro Kakawono Giwelo, Gimon Wetena, Abosu no Queuru, Mon Wetena Untie, Mon Wetena Untie, Tachua Untie, Honorable Moses Korea, I want to invite you and welcome you to Siaya in a very, very special way. And you are not a stranger in Siaya. You've been here many times, even as an ordinary citizen. And I remember when the politics of this nation was very difficult. And there's only those who love this part of the world who could come here. And I remember you came, not only during the government of uh, the Grand Coalition government, but even during the struggles of multi-party. So when I see Moses Kuria, I see something beyond the ordinary politician that you see in this country today. And uh, I want to say, remember, that when you're in Jeromogi's home for his burial, you're beaten by the police. <laughs> I've never known you are a sprinter. <laughs> you know, from central Kenya, you don't get sprinters. You get other people like Moses Kuria, whom are friends. So, you are coming here is of great, great significance. And let me say this. We are, as a nation, allowed to, de to, to differ politically. We are allowed by the Constitution to differ politically and differ even forcefully. But everything goes wrong when in our politics we start to weaponize development, we begin to weaponize government operations. When we do that, we encourage parochialism and bring division amongst our nations. So, Moses Kuria, what you have done today is a great testimony that Kenya is one country, one nation, and people of CIA deserve development because they are Kenyans. They are no Kenyans of shareholders. They are Kenyans of, who are citizens of this country. So that so that, and I know you've been in this region, you've been in the Azimio country. So, and I didn't come to see you, you just felt it was your constitutional duty to come to see I. So I, 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 I urge you, I encourage you, that we should make our politics where I can differ with Moses Kuria, but matters of development, you are one country, one nation. And also urge you, so I also urge you, there is something silent amongst our people here. When we elect people and then they go to Nairobi, and then when they are here, they wear sheepskin, but when they come here, they wear clothes of wolves or political tan coats. That is what is killing our politics. If we can have in Kenya politicians who can take a stand, then development will be very easy. This is what Ababa was trying to say here. So I, Moses Kuria, I remember one day we were sharing, we were in an interview with you in the BBC. At that time, we were all not really part of government, but our views 
We are more or less the same. So let us not let not power corrupt us. Let us just be Kenyans and know that uh, you don't need to beg and you don't need to kneel before Moses Korea. You don't need to uh, bend, uh, uh, bend before any power or prince or principality to get development in Siaya. Now, in Siaya, we have decided to take this project seriously. And I think if you see what is happening on the ground now, if you come back in two months, it will be a different place. We are prepared. We are prepared. And we are prepared because this project can weaken the potentialities that we have. We have fish, we have sugarcane, we have rice, we have sorghum, we have cotton, we have got avocado, we got many products that we can expand in the growth and uh, development of these uh, crops. But the important thing is the value chain. This is what we are bringing to Sarah today, that we should have value addition here in Siaya. And I hope that this industry that we are, this industrial park that we are establishing here will expand, will expand and we have enough land. At the moment we have got about 80 acres, but I think there's room for expansion uh, so that any investor who wants to come here and wants land additional to what is earmarked for this project, they can get th that land here in Siaya. In conclusion, in conclusion, I encourage, I encourage you that when you sit and think about this project, look for additional funds to come here, especially in the area of equipment. We are going to help equip what is being brought here but we're going to make sure that we also help you in uh, bringing equipment to this hub. Dr. Buru, don't worry. Part of the uh, centers or activities that are going to be here is a hub for ICT. Uh, it is a component, and that courtesy Korea was seeing these things in a wholesome way. Koro anka tieko, anka kaurengunya tie. And Koro, again, Abroad, Moses Korea, I will translate later. Tan Kakanya Tieng, Awa Choninga to Kikubuogu, Kinneno Moses Korea, Biro Kato, Biro Nikaj, Katiba Makenya, Duaro Mondo, Wabedgi, Teko, Kenya Ka, Kendo, Okwabiro Kano Luongwa. Wabiro kakajo Kenya. Gemago agonero kamano koro yena uru. I have now the pleasure and privilege of inviting the cabinet secretary for investment, trade, and industry, Honorable Moses Korea. Asante sana. Thank you, Governor. My brother, Governor of Siaya. Bas. What a day. What a day. Governor James Olengo. Your Excellency, my brother, the only youth leader of Sierra County, Dr. Buru Oginga, Yongozi Water, County Executives, Joduro Untie, Joduro Mo, Sierra Moso. Jarego Dinadi Nigendere Lakini. I have some people who don't understand our language. 
So just allow me to continue in national language. And you know, I've been launching these industrial parks in Swahili. So today I'm happy it is the only day I can launch an industrial park completely in English. A testament that I'm in the great county of Siaya. You know, during the Second World War, there used to be fighting between, let us say, Germans and the British. And during tea time, someone would just shout, tea time. And when they shout tea time, it means everybody focus on having a cup of tea and there's no more shooting and no more fighting. Today, I'm in Sierra to, to shout, tea time. <laughs> that there comes a time when we put our differences aside and focus on what unites all of us. And this journey of development and this battle to put money in the pockets of our people is actually a moment of tea time when we pack our guns, get together as brothers and sisters, in the words of Governor Orengo, one people, one country, one nation. I am here today to culminate a very busy week and very fruitful week, which started in the plains of Lake Kipia a county which brings together all communities of this country, from Kikuyus to Luos to Masai to Trukanas to Pokot on Monday. On Tuesday, we were in Nyatike, in Migori County, launching a similar industrial park. And yesterday, I was in Kisi, launching another park there in the land of Bananas. And today, I came to the land of Jaramogi, and the land of Obama, and the land of Baba. And the land of the great James Orengo. To say that indeed, development has no boundaries, and we are all one people. What would make me more proud that coming back here in Alego in two years' time and finding, as per my estimate, around 20,000 people working here, working on a very driving fish industry. Where today I am not coming with new fish. It is the same fish that is found in this treasure of yours called the lake. But I am here today to ensure that you reap maximum benefit from your fish. The same, same fish that you have. Once we do value addition, once you do processing of your fish, once you sell your fish directly from Alego, as that young girl has said, from Siaya to the world, it will make my heart melt with love. How happy will I be if today I'm wearing clothes which are not benefiting the people of this country. But when we work together on the cotton industry here in Siaya, and within two years, we come back and say, we are now wearing clothes made in Siaya, not just by tailors of Siaya, but Siaya farmers toiling in their farms and helping us to clothe ourselves. For indeed, it's a shame that 60 years after independence, we continue to import clothes when we can actually make our own cotton. The same for all the other products. I have seen a lot of activities on sunflower and other edible oils. This year, Kenya will import crude palm oil worth 150 billion Kenya shillings. That money will benefit people of Malaysia, people of Indonesia, people of other countries. That money will create jobs in Indonesia and Malaysia. It is my humble contention that these jobs are required here in Kenya 
more than anywhere else. If we continue importing shoes, when we can have seen here some efforts to have some leather coming from fish as a byproduct of fish, and as I said on Monday in Laikipia, I look forward to next year where I will ban all imports of shoes so that the people of Siaya and the people of this region can be able to convert fish into leather, into shoes, into bags for our ladies, into belts, so that we can also put money in our pocket. This program is a shared program. Kenya shillings 250 million from national government. Kenya shillings 250 million from the county government of Siaya. And I want to thank my brother, Governor Rengo, and the county assembly, especially the county assembly, for supporting the governor's program. I must say the governor has been, I must say the most enthusiastic governor on this program. Although it's a program for the entire country, he has always been bothering me. And yesterday he had to come to Kisumu to ensure that I am there. And he gave instruction to the airport that they should close the airport for me until I launch this industrial park. I want to thank you, Governor, for that cooperation because really it makes my work easier. When we have a governor who is progressive, a governor who wants to do the best for our people, and the governor who knows that one day after we leave this world, we are going to be remembered by our actions. Governor, I want to tell you for what you are doing today. These people of Siaya, I am very sure they will vote for you again. But that is not important. What is important is whether they vote for you or not. Me and you, we have got very high chances of seeing the kingdom of heaven because of what you are doing today. And I'm very, 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 very proud of that. So, guys, let us work together to uplift the lives of our people. Hakuna uchaguzi mwaka huu. Na hakuna mwaka ujao. So, can't we keep ourselves busy by focusing on development? Then when the next election comes, we decide now tea time is over, we go back to those other things. And if possible, even those ones, we leave them behind and we forge together as one united nation. Sitting here, standing here as a minister in charge of investment, trade and industry. I feel, a chance, I feel a sense of foreboding when I remember the journey that myself, brother James Olengo, Senator Oboro Gingo have come from. On 20th of January 1994, we were here a whole 29 years ago to Bale Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, the man who instructed Otieno Kajoang to represent me in court and get an injunction that stopped me from being expelled from the University of Nairobi. And when I came here to bury him, I actually me came to thinking we were coming for a burial. Until now, James Orenko quoted Mark Anthony and told us that he was not coming to bury Oginga. One year later, when we had our first anniversary, the first Teroburu of Jaramogi, I was at Kangoka Jaramogi. And I remember I was sitting next to Oburu, and Oburu had a very long kabuti. That time, Moi, President Moi, had said there is not going to be any live music in that Teroburu. And the leadership of this region was saying, no way. So we were there, and it was getting dark. Ole Seguno Pasajo was there. That time, not as a civilian president, but a former military ruler. And when the music started, I remember it was around 6.30 p.m., Okachi Biki started playing Sara. And as they say here, no sooner had Okachi Biki started playing Sara, tear gas was thrown. And I remember Oburu and I, we were helping each other by the cactus at Kango Kajaramogi to escape. From a DC called Kirito Amai. And then we were whisked to safety. We went to a powder farm. 
and Baba prepared for us the best chicken I have ever tasted in this side of the world. That is 28 years ago. Today, I'm here as a minister. Orengo is here as a governor of Siaya. Oburu Oginga is here as a senator. And Makamu is an ordinary citizen. I told him, go back to Siaya. You are spending too much in time in Kisumu. But he's a good friend of mine. And he calls himself my ambassador at large in Siaya and Kisumu counties. So, Governor, as we agreed, for us to gain meaningful uh, use of this industrial park, we must also focus on production. And at the heart of this issue of production, we need to ensure that we give these people the means for them to work for themselves. We've talked for many weeks now about the issue of cotton seed rings. I sent my peers for industry, Dr. Juma Mukwana here. He worked with you. And now, today, this morning, I had a discussion with our Ministry of Agriculture. And we also had a discussion with you and we agreed that in the spirit of real devolution, we have to ensure that we give counties the capability to produce their own seedlings. As you have promised me, as we build this industrial park here, as we seek to bring investors from all over the world to come here, we need also to ensure that uh, you have your own capacity to produce your own seedlings. You have promised me that you will avail, apart from this land, another 70 acres in Ugenya, our Department of Agriculture, our Kenya Plant Health Inspection Service, KEFIS, our Kenya and, uh, Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization, CALO, our Kenya Seed Company, they will come to you from next week to start working on a farm for multiplication of cotton seedlings, of sunflower seedlings, of av avocado seedlings, so that next year you don't have to wait for me to come and bring them because you can be able to do it here. And that's how we are going to support the revolution. And that's how we are going to develop this country. On top of that, once we finish this industrial park, one of the state corporations in my ministry called uh, Kenya Development Corporation is the one which is going to be here to operate this center. But most importantly, they will come with money. They will come with money to give credits to these people, to give them credits so that they can be able to buy inputs, to give them credits so that they can be able to do their own value addition, and also to bring money to buy equipment. We are going to buy equipment on a model we call common user facilities. That means even a hustler from Larieda, who does not have any money to buy big equipment, can come right here, use the common user machines that we put here. For example, they can come with their fish here, rent our machine, process the fish, rent our packaging equipment, pack their fish, sell to the export market right from here. You don't have to be big, and nobody is small to be able to use this industrial park. We want to grow together. You know, I say, if all the 47 regions of this country are able to pull together, Kwetu, Tunatoka Kitu Furani, Hapa, Samaki, Hapa, Cotton, area Kisi, Bananas, another area, Beef, this country will grow and will be both rise together. That is why I am very much focused on ensuring that we have got 47 mini economies that are all working, producing, pro contributing to our national good. And, you know, in 1965, Mboya, Kibaki, and other people, they did a lot of good things. But there's one mistake they made. And I'm sure Dr. Oburo Ginga will support me in this one. This session of paper number 10 of 1965, that is the source of all the problems we have in this country. 
when people put ink on paper to say that there is part of this country that is classified as useful Kenya and other parts which are classified as useless Kenya we are still paying for that misadventure that happened 60 years ago and that is what I'm trying to resolve to this for me all parts of Kenya are useful there is no one part of Kenya that is useless because you are contributing with your fish with your cotton, with your sunflower, with your avocados. Are you not shareholders? You, by the uh, mere product that you have that can contribute to our jobs, contribute to our foreign exchange, contribute to our national GDP, everybody in this country is a shareholder. And as I complete this program, you'll be able to see that we can all move together. Sikuya. Jumamosi, mimi ni shabiki wa mpira na na shabikia timu inaitwa Chelsea huko juu na hapa chini mimi mnajua ni mtu ya gol mahia kogalo kogalo e Asante sana na Mungu abariki. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bwana Sias, uh, before you go to your seat kindly, uh, since you danced or there was tear gas that disrupted your dancing in 1994, yes. today we don't have Okach but we have a Loka uh, who is going to do a quick number for you uh, so that you complete the jig and you will be joined up on stage for the dance uh, by the governor, uh, the speaker and the senator. And uh, the Honorable Waziris, um, Katike Kidogo, Tafadali, Aloka. Canungo, 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 I give me when you make a god to just hang on my What I love my head I do What I'm working with my head I do what I do You know what I have to just hang on my Tell me what I have to just hang on my What I have to put it out to just hang on my What I'm working with my head I do what I do I do what I do I do what I do Pula goma, mi ala mi ala. Kanungo, 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 kanungo. Wapi duri? Kanungo, kanungo, kanungo eta eko, kubure eta eko. Tera bon, hani pula lo 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 to mama e. Pula lo lo to mama e. Ala kama na na kujia goma na kote goma. Wanna speak of God to just hang on my Speak of God to just hang on my Or hang on you me when you're my young To just hang on my I give me to just hang on my Mother is good here to just hang on my What you're mocking on my To just hang on my To be not A rip up on She can't take Thank you very much. May God bless you. Asante sana. Thank you very much, Your Excellency Governor and our Chief Guest. I request that you stay up on stage a little bit. Tafadali tukai pokuatiko program. Pokuatiko program. Let's be seated. Kidogo. May I request our Governor please to come up. Uh, together with the CS, we have a few gifts for you. Honorable CS, Tafadali. Together with the governor. 
Uh, Governor, please, we request that you come up to issue a few gifts to our chief guest. Sera tunapenda wageni and uh, our governor will give a few gifts as a, a sign of our appreciation for you taking your time to be with us today. That is from Sia to the world to Honorable Moses Kuria. Na hii imechorwa na mtu wa Siaya for the Honorable CS.